Okay, so TV news. We have uh, some updates on some shows we've been keeping tabs on, one of which we haven't heard from for some time. Uh, we have a trailer for both the new What If season as well as He-Man Masters of the Universe Revolution. So yeah, we've got that in a bit more, so let's talk about it. Welcome, nerds, to the TV news. That's a little ambiguous, don't you think? This is a clip that is taken from the larger Week in Nerddom that gets posted up on the main YouTube channel at Generally Nerdy or youtube.com slash Generally Nerdy, however you have to go about it. This section of the news, we're talking about TV shows and episodic shows on streaming networks. I'm still working out a way to say that that isn't such a mouthful. Either way, it's going to be TV shows, right? That's how this works. <laughs> so let's just get into to it, shall we? First up, follow-ups and corrections following up on shows we keep tabs on. Uh, Young Sheldon is the first one that is getting uh, canceled after season seven will be coming to an end, I guess is probably more appropriate. I don't know necessarily, just not a renewal of season, probably has been dipping in uh, uh, ratings for some time like most terrestrial TV, so makes sense. Uh, the next one is one we haven't heard from for some time, so I'm pretty stoked to be hearing uh, about it. We have King of the Hill, Producer Greg Daniels has made it known that we will not be seeing King of the Hill, the, the reboot series, uh, anytime soon. It will be uh, 2025 before we uh, get uh, to see that on Hulu. No specific date just yet, obviously, but they are still working on it. Obviously, they've got a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that they need to get taken care of uh, before they can continue going forward with voice acting and such. So that's at least a little bit of something to go on. Uh, and then our other update this week is Arcane. Season two is coming. We have a released window, at least a release month, November of 2024. So it's approximately a year away before we see Arcane season two, which is the League of Legends show, if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't think I watched season one. It wasn't on my radar. But uh, yeah, that's what we got for follow-ups and corrections. Let's talk about trailers this week shall we uh terminator the anime got a new trailer over on netflix uh yeah pretty freaking cool i didn't even well no i do believe we did talk about this one as originally announced but i forgot that this was happening so the fact that uh youtube was like hey by the way here's a trailer for you kind of made me excited not gonna lie it's pretty cool it's very brief but still pretty cool uh, then the He-Man Masters of the Universe Revolution trailer is uh, has dropped and it gives one just a little bit of hope that maybe this is going to be a little bit more of a He-Man show than the last one. Technically, the last one didn't have He-Man in the title, so they just only implied it was a He-Man show and then they kind of bait and switched us just a bit. Uh, so it seems that this one's going to be more honest. We'll cross our fingers and not hold our breath, shall we? Uh, then we got uh, finally got a trailer for Avatar The Last Airbender, plus the release date, February 22nd of 2024. So yes, that's happening. That's pretty freaking awesome. The trailer just looks super epic and definitely looks like we're making up for lost time with some of the live action fumbles that Netflix has done recently. Uh, next one is almost live action, Pokemon Concierge is a new series uh, also coming to Netflix. It is going to be a stop motion series was not expecting this one. Uh, it's it's about an island where Pokemon go to relax. Just a weird concept in and of itself. Uh, I am just a little bit older than most for the Pokemon stuff, so kind of uh, not super duper on my radar, but I do know quite a few people who are going to love this. So the trailer looks pretty funny. Uh, looks like it would go hand in hand with what I know of Pokemon, but again, kind of a little bit uh, young for me. Yes, I know I'm old. I apologize, but there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, and then our final trailer this week and release date is the uh, season two of What If over for the Marvel What If uh, over on Disney Plus. It's going to be December 22nd. A very interesting situation with the release of the new what if season because it's going to be nine episodes and all nine episodes are going to be are going to come in rapid succession it's going to be nine days every day for nine days straight will be a new episode over on disney plus so 
interesting way to deal with binge watchers, but also like try and do a little bit to keep everybody happy. Because if you just wait a few days, you can watch the entire series. Or if you really want to see them as they're coming out, then you don't have to wait super long, but you still can't binge the entire series when the first episode, just really kind of a cool, I'm very intrigued to see how this one plays out for them. Uh, but yeah, tra links to all the trailers are down in the description. So go check it out. We do have one piece of of regular news and it's a sucky one uh, but uh, it does need to be made known because both of the shows that this guy was part of uh, are st still very relevant in the pop culture conversation so Kevin Turin who is producer for uh, Max he produced Euphoria and The Idol has passed away at the age of 44. Uh, confirmed by his father this past Sunday is when he passed and actually, no, I believe he passed Saturday and then they confirmed it on Sunday. No cause of death has been made public just yet uh, as of recording this video. So if it's something significant and not just a fluke accident, then uh, we will be probably doing a little bit of an update. But I honestly haven't watched either of his shows. I do know they're super popular. Just I had no desire to see the subject matter that was covered by them. So uh, it, this will be a big one for the community. Uh, more of the, ter the, 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 the the outskirts of the community because this is not overly nerdy content, but still related. So sucky day for the community. And we just got to keep rolling from here. And do what I can to bring it back up because now we got suggestions <laughs> to talk about. TV suggestion this week. And going forward, you have a bit of time to make up for this one. Invincible season two is currently underway. Uh, the only as of recording this, actually, I think episode three might have dropped already and I'm just uh, behind an episode. But uh, episodes one and two for season two have dropped and it's epic uh and uh, i just the rest of this season only stands to get better season one was pretty amazing probably the best animated show on uh, any sort of broadcast or or episodic just content in general i can't i cannot recommend invincible enough it is not your typical superhero thing so if you're turned off by the superhero stuff this is a little bit more introspective and definitely a lot more philosophical so uh worth your time even if for that reason go check out invincible seasons one and two as season two is currently underway once again nerds this has been the tv and streaming news for the week taken from the main show the week in nerddom which is posted on the main channel youtube.com slash generally nerdy uh, thank you for joining me here nerds before we go always always remember that if it's generally nerdy it's probably here <laughs>